Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages and dogs, fish, cats and whatever. Welcome to another beer review. Um, we have got um, a beer from a brewer which has developed into one of my favourites. Um, I haven't drunk many of them up to a few months back. I didn't drink much from the trap, but the ones I've had, I've really, really enjoyed. And they, they, they are great examples of their styles. They really are. Um, the beer is the Trap. Triple running in at 8% ABV. I've never had this one before. My favourite triple is the uh, Triple Carmelite. Um, I just love that beer. Um, uh, sentimental as well because it's the first triple I ever had um, and I did like the Chimay triple but this one's Dutch but it's a Trappist brewer it's not Belgian and I had their blonde from La Trap it's beautiful beautiful blonde absolutely cracking the double was nice the quad I had a while back um, I think I liked it so we got the triple so let's crack this one open because I reckon they are very well respected by a lot of people in the trap. Um, there is the triple crown. Let's see what we get from it. Almonds. Maybe a hint of pecan there. Then you're getting the traditional yeast you get. Uh, which I do associate with a triple. So, get rid of the last one. Sling over my shoulder. Let's pour her out and see what she looks like. I don't think she's bottle conditioned, but you never know. Um, she looks beautiful. Deep amber gold, I would say. Quite a compact head. I'll just let it settle down a minute and see what it says on the back. It says the Trap Triple is a classic Trappist ale with a powerful and full taste. In addition, the ale has a... We're not going to go into all the characters. Serving temperature 10 to 14 degrees, boys and girls. So don't put it in your fridge. The worst thing you can do with beers like this is stick it in your fridge. Because believe you me, through past experience, when you do that, you do kill flavour. Um... Um, anybody disagree with that opinion, let us know. Um, but from my past experience, you stick a, a quality beer like this or West Mal or or anything Belgian even into the fridge, there's no chance you're going to get any decent flavours from it. Um, so that's why they, they tend to put these, these um, slight, you know, these things serving temperatures on. So give it a trial. Hopefully, nice cloud of yeast. Yeah, she's softened up now. So it was a clear deep amber. It's gone to a cloudy amber. So looking forward to this one. Um, highly, well, two trickles of carbonation. Nice cloudy gold colour. Heads dissipating down. You you do get a hint of candied fruit out of this you do pick that up still that yeast character which um, you would get with a triple maybe granary type of thing definitely get candied fruit so I'm gonna go in so cheers everybody That is gorgeous. That, my friends, is a gorgeous beer. And it carries on with the, 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 the character that the, the trap beers offer. There's a beautiful, gentle sweetness to them. A beautiful, gentle sweetness that complements all these flavours you pick out from them. Um, when I had the blonde, it had a lovely, sweet, 
almond type of taste to it. The double had a lovely sweetness to it. And this one has the same thing. I don't know if it must be to do with the strain of yeast they use or anything like that. But that lovely gentle sweetness complements their beers so well. It, they really do. Again, again. Front end, that sweetness. Then you get a lovely bread crust type of um, taste now. A little bit of almond there to go with it. On the back end, it just leaves a gentle, nice, sweet taste around the mouth. It is absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's, it is, it's really nice. Again, again. Doesn't leave your mouth dry. It leaves a lovely coating around the mouth. There's a lovely smooth mouth feel to it. And uh, rate beer rated this at 93 overall. And I can see why. It's a lovely, lovely beer. Lovely triple. This is a great example um, of its style, definitely. Um, anybody out there who like a good triple... For me, there's about four what really hit home. And that is the Triple Carmelite, the Shimei Triple, the Westmouth Triple. It's brilliant. And that one, the Trap Triple. That is, it is a beautiful beer. It, and it, the thing what I like about it is that it's gentle. It's, 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 it's kind of like very gentle on, on the palate. It's, there's no kind of like real sharpness to it or sharp bitterness or in the mouthfeel itself. There's no roughness about it. The actual profile of this taste is, is very smooth, very sweet. Not very sweet, but the sweetness is complementing everything else in the beer. You know, it suits the beer. It's not overbearing. There's no overbearing bitterness. There's no flavour boss in it. It's kind of like all these flavours are working together to give you such a nice balanced beer and you can't go wrong so one more for the road it's beautiful really really nice boys and girls the trap triple buy one get one if you never had a triple before buy this baby she is lovely and on that score Thank you for watching this beer review. Please subscribe. Murder me in the comments. So see you all. Every one of you. On my next one. So cheers.